Hello and welcome to another Three Shape Trios tutorial with your host Victor Zarnetsky, Strawman Laboratory Territory Manager and Digital Specialist. Today we'll be covering a time-saving and comprehensive Strawman implant restoration scan at the time of integration check. This workflow maximizes the clinical outcome and minimizes the risk of not accurately capturing the emergence profile. Moreover, this minimizes the clinician's time in scanning by allowing the dental assistant to take the preoperative impressions. It is important to check your local guidelines on permitted duties for dental assistants as they do vary state by state. So the case we'll be looking at today is a Strauman RC implant scan in tooth number 7. So we'll begin with setting up the work order right here in this page. First I'll select tooth number 7, then I'll come over here to abutment. Then I'll select the type of crown, I want this to be a screw retained crown. The manufacturer of course is Strauman. The system is bone level. The connection is an RC. And then we can also put the material for the final restoration if we'd like. And then if we already know the shade, we can indicate it here. One more important thing to note is over here, when we, select, when we have an implant scan, the emergence profile is automatically selected. However, the pre-preparation needs to also be selected for this workflow. When I click that, you'll see that highlight in white here. Alright, so now let's go into the scan page. In this workflow, you'll notice that there's five total scans, excluding the patient-specific motion. The order that we'll take these scans will be the lower, the upper pre-preparation with the healing abutment in, then the occlusion, then we'll come back and scan the upper emergence profile, and then the scan body. So let's go ahead and dive in. As I mentioned before, to minimize the clinician's time in the pre-operative scanning, these scans can be taken by the dental assistant. Next, I'll scan the upper with the healing cap in. At this point, the scanner will ask me to identify tooth number 7. It's important to do this from an occlusal view. By indicating position number 7, the scanner will automatically cut out this blue zone when it pulls all of the rest of the scan data to the next scan page, where we'll scan in the emergence profile, and then the next scan page where we'll scan in the scan body. At this point, we'll skip to the occlusion. And then we'll scan the opposite side of the occlusion.
At this point, the clinician will go back to the Emergence Profile scan page and remove the healing cap. Quickly, after the healing cap has been removed, we'll scan the Emergence Profile. One additional tool we have in our toolkit is to select the zoom icon over here, which actually changes the focal depth of the camera. By adding this scan, your lab will be able to make a beautiful custom emergence on it, a custom abutment. If I zoom up on the emergence profile here and deselect the color, I can better see the capture. Now I know it looks jagged here, but my model has been through some wear and tear, so this is accurate. At this point, the scan will ask us once again to identify tooth number seven. Then we can go on to the final scan body page to scan in the scan body. I prefer to leave the color model off when I'm scanning the scan body so we can see the geometry of it if it's actually captured perfectly. At this point, we've captured the lower arch, the upper arch with the healing abutment in, the upper arch emergence profile, and the upper arch with the scan body scan. I hope this was informative. Thank you and have a great day.